In this tutorial, I will show you how to work with PowerDirector 10's 100 track timeline. Let's start by explaining how to resize the three main windows in PowerDirector 10. The media library, with all your media files in the rooms. The preview window, to display your project during the editing mode. And the timeline, with all the video, image, audio, effect, title, voice, and music tracks. You can resize the media library and preview windows with the vertical bar in between. You can resize the timeline window with the horizontal bar at its top. This is very handy when your project has lots of tracks and you need to be able to see them all. On the left side of the timeline window, you can also slide over the vertical bar to display the entire labels of the tracks. Double click a label to enter or modify its name. For more precise editing, you can also zoom in and out of the timeline in three different ways. Firstly, put the cursor to the top of the timeline, left click and drag to the left or right. Secondly, use the zoom controls at the lower left corner of the interface. And third, push the plus or minus keys on the keyboard. It is also possible to resize each individual track according to your needs. You can move the cursor to the middle or bottom of a track, left click and slide up or down. If you want to resize all the tracks to the same height at the same time, simply right click on the timeline, select adjust track height and choose one of the three options, small, medium or large. When you open PowerDirector 10 for the first time, the timeline by default displays two video audio tracks. This is track Video Audio 1 and this is track Video Audio 2. You can add more video audio tracks in two ways. Firstly, click the Add Track icon at the top left of the timeline. The Track Manager window opens. Simply indicate the number of tracks you need to add as well as their placement click OK. The new tracks are automatically added where you want them. In PowerDirector 10, you can work with up to 100 tracks. Secondly, just right click on the timeline and select Add Tracks. This opens the same track manager window. Apart from the video, image, audio, effect, title, voice and music tracks, there are also four more specific tracks you can add to the timeline the SVRT track, the chapter track, the subtitle track, and the music beat track. Right click on the timeline, select them in the pop-up window, and their respective title displays on the timeline. To copy or move an entire video audio track to a new location in the timeline, right click the track and select copy to or move to. In the pop-up window, Choose the new track location in the drop down menu and click OK. The track is automatically placed where you indicated. To delete a track, right click it and select remove track. Remember that in PowerDirector 10, you cannot remove the video audio tracks 1 and 2. To add a media file to the timeline, left click on the file in the media library and drag it to where you want to place it on the timeline. You can also first highlight the track where you want to place the file. Then right click the file in the media library and select insert on selected track. The file is automatically placed on the specified track. To place a whole range of files at the same time, click the first file, hold the shift key down, select the last file and drag them down onto the timeline. You can also left click, hold and select the range of files by drawing a window around them and drag them to the timeline in one shot. PowerDirector 10 offers a powerful and handy editing interface. You can work with up to 100 tracks on the timeline. Now let's add 50 more video tracks. Right click on the timeline 
and select small to see a large range of tracks. Then, if you want to add a file to a specific track, select the track on the timeline. Then the files in the media library you want to place on that track. Right click and select Insert on Selected Track. To insert a media file, for example, inserting a video clip between two pictures on the timeline, select, drag down and place the video clip at the beginning of the second picture. Release and select Insert. The video is automatically placed between the two pictures. To overwrite a media file, follow the same procedure, but select Overwrite in the pop-up menu. Thanks for following this tutorial and don't forget to visit www.directorzone.com for other detailed tutorials.